Oh. <laughs> that felt good. Okay. Wait, what's that song that goes, guess who's back? Back, back again. again. Yeah, it's oh. from Eminem. Hey, Google. Play the song that goes, guess who's back? Back again. Shady. Okay, Without Me by Eminem. Here it Without is on Spotify. Me. I washed my face for like the first time in God knows how long and I feel like I have a new face. So it feels pretty good. Alright, so the foundation I'm going to use is this. I actually just got it yesterday. Well, it came in the mail yesterday. It's called um, Il Makeage or something like that. It looks like this. Um, I saw it on Instagram. It's like... I'm sure everyone has seen this foundation on Instagram. It's supposed to, you're supposed to take a quiz and it matches, like gives you your perfect shade. I already tested it out. I know, my bad. It, it seems pretty close to my shade, so I'm actually pretty excited about it. I also got their concealer, but I wasn't a fan, so I'm returning that. What's also cool about this like brand is that, um, you when you get it you have 14 days yeah 14 days from delivery to try it out and if you don't like it you just return it and you won't be charged until you um hit that 14 days or like you go past 14 days or something which is actually pretty sweet because you know sometimes you buy a shade online and it's not your shade which i actually did with this foundation the whoops the locket kat von d i got it super full coverage i like the formula but not my shade. I literally looks like a ghost. So that was a huge bummer. But now I don't know what to do with it. Because I'm not going to keep a shade that's not mine, you know? Because then I'll never wear it. So and I don't want to just throw it in the trash because I tried it once and then um, I didn't like it. So I either need to find someone who's that so shade or I just I don't know what to do with it. What's changed in the last time I made a YouTube video, Mason? You're older. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm 20 now. A true adult in the 20s. I can't even be called a teenager anymore. Honest. Oh, yeah. Corona. Jeez. Oh, been stuck in quarantine since, what, March? What's your channel name again? Actually, I don't remember. Honestly. Hmm? Huh? Fake fan. What? Did you say, did you say <laughs> fake fan? I'm not even really a fan. <laughs> I'm just the cameraman. <laughs> um. Oh, the thing. Oh yeah. So let's talk about quarantine. Wow. Uh, <laughs> um. It's been kind of boring. Like I will actually. I'm an essential worker, so I've been working. Um, ever since. Never stopped working, so that's lovely. Um, what else? I mean, it's just quarantine. It's not like I can go out and do anything, which is a big bummer because I had a lot of summer plans and that all went to poop. I'm done applying the foundation. It's pretty similar to my natural skin tone, if I say, like looking at myself. It looks like it. Like, they did a pretty great job based off of the quiz. Um, I naturally have rosy cheeks and red face. So, it kind of, I, f I feel like it kind of, no matter what foundation I use, it kind of just makes it darker. Or it, you, you just see the, I don't know, the redness doesn't go away is what I'm saying. So, but I think it's a very pretty much perfect match for my skin if I do say so myself um I do recommend I like the um like uh what's the word like it doesn't feel heavy is what I'm saying like it's not heavy it's light but has very good coverage um it's not um a uh it's not wet it's very I mean but it's not matte either it's kind of like in the middle I like it a lot um, oh, also, the links for all of these will be in my description box if you want to get them. I highly recommend that foundation. You just take a short quiz, um, and that's just, like, about it. And then they tell you what your shade is. Alright, 
If you're curious what my sh- Ow! That hurt. Hit your funny bone? Like, right next to it. Like, almost. Alright, the, um, shade I am in this foundation, which it is the Woke Up Like This foundation, liquid. I am shade 35. If you were curious. I wanted to know. Okay, next, concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light. Mm -hmm. I've used this concealer for so long. I just haven't really found another one, I guess. Um, but I actually did buy the Jeffree Star concealer because, whoops, the light turned off. Um, because my friend has it and she loves it. But it is lighter, I feel like, than this one. So I'm hoping that I did not get the wrong shade. Otherwise, I'd be really upset about it. I have all these dots on my nose because I was picking on a pimple. And then I got the poor vacuum in. Tried suckering that stuff out. Alrighty. Oh, also, these... Sponges I'm using are the Jeffree Star X Morphe. Next, we are going to set our foundation and concealer with the Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent. Um, I'm almost out of this actually. But I also got the Jeffree Star powder. I got a lot of Jeffree Star stuff recently, actually, because he was having a huge sale. And I, so I just I was like, I'm not going to turn this down. I'm going to get it. Alright, right, next we are going to Moment of Brows. I have my mirror, my Shane Dawson X Jeffree Star mirror. So I can um, look at myself closer. So the brow products I use is Brow Wiz by Anastasia in the shade Medium Brown. And then I use the Gimme Brow by Benefit in shade 3 for the brow gel. I always comb through my brows first just kind of to make sure they're all somewhat going the right direction. And sometimes there's powder in there so I just kind of sweep it out. I also have like no brows. Alright. I'm using my Shane Dawson X Jeffree Star Pig Mirror. I got it for my birthday from one of my friends. Alright. Brows are finished. I didn't talk much during the brows because you got really focused. Uh, a little battery. Brows are finished. Our next thing is eyeshadow, and I am going to use the Morphe X Jeffree Star palette. This palette was on sale on Morphe.com, so I knew I had to snag it, along with like majority of the Morphe X Jeffree Star brushes. So you know I had to get those too. Um, this is what the palette looks like. If you have not seen it, it is gorgeous and beautiful. And I have no idea what type of look we're going to do. I never have a plan with these type of videos. I kind of just do whatever's floating my boat. And that's what we end up with. So I'm going to figure out what colors I want to do. Alright. Before we do eyeshadow, I'm going to prime my eyes with the MAC um, Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. I don't use this actually a lot, um, mainly because when I do my makeup in the morning for like work, I'm kind of rushing, and I don't really have time to do that. Um, and I usually throw on like two eyeshadows that are a neutral color and call it good. But when I go for more, um, I guess intense looks or. I'm actually trying to try 
I, I'll use it. The brush I'm using is the Morphe M173 to put on the, the primer. Honestly, sometimes I can't tell if primer works. Either primer. I don't, I don't even um, use face primer. Mainly because I don't know how it works and I don't know which one is good. So if you have primer suggestions, let me know below. Because I'm willing to test some out. Because I honestly, I have no idea whoops, if they work or not. Um, okay, so let's see what type of look I want to go for. First, I'm just going to take the shade Lynn, this one right here, and I'm just going to set the primer with that. I always like to set my primer with a neutral shade before I put on any other colors. Alrighty, so we have some choices. The colors that are really sticking out to me is Mogul, 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 I don't really know how to say that word, but this purple right here, and then this green Nate right there is stunning. Same thing with Self Made, the pink. So, like, Don't Know Her, Wand Noise, like, literally all of them. I am overwhelmed with choices. I don't know what to do but what's the tea even though it's kind of like a reminds me of like a yellow brown it, I like that color too um but I think what I'm going to do is going with Calabasas which is this color right here I'm sorry for my nails by the way I had my acrylics and then they got super long but all the nail salons are closed so I um well actually I bought acrylic off of Amazon but it sucked it was just watery and I don't know if it, I was doing it wrong or if it was just a bad product but then since the acrylic it dried and it just looked like disgusting and so then I hated it and so I took nail clippers and just started clipping it all off and now they look like this and yeah it's just not a good look so I'm gonna take Calabasas with the Morphe X Jeffree Star JS9 brush. I love this blending brush. It is so good. So we're just going to dip into that. Ooh. One of the hardest things about makeup, I feel like, is trying to make the other side look somewhat as the same as the other one. Especially when it comes to eyeliner. But with I feel like with all eyes. It's just, you have to try and make it somewhat identical and it's a little tough sometimes. Especially when the product just doesn't want to work with you. Now, I'm going to take the Morphe M441 and I'm just going to help blend that out. Now, the next step, I don't know, we are going, hmm, what should I do? You know, self-made and mogul are really calling my name, so this, these two, mogul and self-made, I think I'm just going to mix those together and just see what happens and put that right in my outer corner. Let's just go for it. That's pretty. That's really, really pretty. That pink is absolutely gorgeous. Next, I'm going to take the Morphe Extra Free Star J JS12 brush. And I think I'm going to go in with Hi Dude. This is brown shade right here. And right here. And I'm just going to put that in the outer corner part of my crease just to kind of like deepen it a little bit. Now we're just going to go below. Now we're just going to go back in with the Morphe M441 and help blend that together. 
because I wanted to deepen it but I didn't want to deepen it too much so that's why I went with the brown also I felt like brown would I felt like the brown would go good with the type of like since Calabasas is kind of like on the what is it burgundy side I feel like brown would be a good match to go with all right it's looking good um, now I am going to pick a shimmer out. So exciting. I think I'm going to go with, whew, so many choices. I think I'm going to go with either the two, that's what it's called, two right there, this shade, or maybe designer label or custom rims right there so many options but I think custom rims is calling my name so I'm gonna go custom rims that's silver I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M1 whoa oh, excuse me Morphe M 124 brush right into custom rims right here and I'm first gonna set it well not set it sorry Spray my brush with the Morphe setting spray just to wet in it. And then go on with custom rims. Perfect. And then I'm just going to go from inner to the middle. Wow. That's a really pretty silver. Perfect. Now I'm going to go back in with the M, sorry not the M, the JS9 brush and just the excess that's on it and kind of blend the shimmer and the shadow together. Just kind of sweep it across so it doesn't look so separated. Now I'm going to go in with the Morphe M527 and wipe off all the powder that's on my face. Perfect. Okay. Now, oh, my back is starting to hurt. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now I'm going to take the Morphe X Jeffree Star JS13 brush. And I'm going to use this to do my, oops, my under eye, my bottom lid. And I'm going to go in with, Calabasas. I'm going to go in with Calabasas right here and Hi Dude. So I'm going to mix those two together since that is what's in my outer crease. And I'm just going to put that under my eye to help tie the whole thing together. Now it is liner time. So what I'm going to do is use the Kat Von D, or I think they're actually called KVD now, Tattoo Liner. This is my favorite, all-time favorite liner. I love it. And then on top of that, I'm going to go in with the Moxie Lash Liner just on the eyelash part, not the wing, because I'm going to put magnetic lashes on. And honestly, this eyeliner really, just the, it's like a felt tip, but it's not flimsy I guess is the word to where I don't know it's just kind of difficult to use so I'm just going to use the tattoo liner and then on top of that go in with this so the lashes can stick so now we're going to go in with the liquid tattoo liner by KVD this is my all time favorite liner I think I already said that but I can't remember you know what I actually do first which I find I don't know, I don't know if it's easier but I just like the technique better is that I do this first and then I do the wing last I don't know if that actually works or not, but I like it. Now I'm going to go in with the Moxie Lash Liquid Magnetic Liner and just go right here so I am able to put on the lashes. Now with this liner, if you choose to do magnetic liner, I find that you need a pretty like thick layer, like a thick line. Um, or else it won't really stick that well. 
at least with this brand is what I found. I do know Glamnetic is kind of trending and a lot of people haven't seen that. Um, but I got this before that was well, kind of like a thing. Which is kind of a bummer, but it's fine. One thing I don't like about this eyeliner like applicator is that when I go to put it on, it gets in my lashes. I don't know if that's just the angle I'm going at it or if it's the applicator or if anyone else is having that problem. But if you have any like good like techniques to not get it in your lashes, please let me know because it's very, very annoying. Hopefully this new technique that I'm working for my eyeliner is going to work. But now I have to let the magnetic liner dry. So while it's drying, we're going to put on mascara. For mascara today, we're going to go into the Urban Decay, or blah, 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 the Urban Decay Perversion um, Mascara. I said this is like a little mini one. I don't have the full size. Okay, mascara is on. Now, it is time for the lashes. So, I'm going to use the Moxie Lash in the style Wifey. Looks like these. And they are really pretty. I've used them before. I love them. And they're already cut to my eye, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, fun fact, I used to wear lashes, like the glue on ones, all the time. Like, every day. But then it kept pulling out my natural lashes, so I stopped wearing them. And it made the glue, made my eyes really, really watery, like running watery. So then I was like, okay, well, if I took them off, would that happen? So I took it off for a week and didn't wear them, and my eyes stopped. And then I put it back on, and it did it again. So now I just never wear lashes. Also, in the morning when I'm getting ready for work, it's so time-consuming, so I don't have time to do lashes. But, when I do want to wear lashes and I do want to be a little bit fancier, I love the magnetic ones. Let's just pop these on. Like, look how easy that is. It's fast. I'm not worrying about glue or having to redo it or anything. Like, I recommend. If you have been curious about magnetic lashes and have debating on getting it, I'm telling you, get it. Absolutely, 100%. Perfect. Okay, lashes on. Next, we are going in with our KBD Shade and Light Contour Palette. And I'm going to go in the shade... Don't know which one this is. Oh, wait. Subconscious? Is that what... I don't know if that's the right one. This is either subconscious or sombre. No idea. But that one right there. And we're going to go in with the Morphe E48 brush. And we're just going to chisel out the face. I always like to do a light contour. Nothing too crazy. I've always really been, excuse me, been that way. I don't really have a reason why, I just think the lighter looks better on me. Also I find if I go any heavier with it I have trouble blending it out to make it look natural or somewhat natural. So, but that's just me. If you like to go heavy with it, go heavy with it. Now I'm going to go in with the Morphe E62 Nose Contouring Brush in the same shade and just contour the nose. Now we're going to go in with this brush. It's from Crown. I don't really, I don't know what the brush is called or anything. It doesn't have a number. But I like to use this one just to blend out my contour. Just kind of stamp it in there and blend it out a little bit. Now we're going to go in with bronzer. I used the Too Faced um, Milk Chocolate Bronzer. I'm almost out. I love this one. Now I am bronzing my face. I actually already started but my camera was being weird and it just turned off on me so now I'm just finishing it up. <laughs> 
bronzer. Now we're going to go into blush. I actually don't really use blush since I already have the rosy cheeks. I feel like I don't really need it, but sometimes I go in with like a light tint. I'm going to use the Milani Color Harmony blush. This. This is actually really old, but I've just been using it and it still works. So I got this years ago at a Ipsy Gin Beauty thing. I don't care remember what year. But I'm going to go into the Morphe E4 brush. I just do a couple taps and just go like this. You can't really see anything, but that's how I like it because I already have rosy cheeks. I really don't need to add any more. Next, we're going to go in with highlighter. I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Supreme Frost in Diamond Wet. Look how stunning this highlighter is. So I'm going to take the Morphe M501 brush and coat the sucker out of that and Put that on the cheeks. Ooh, 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 ooh. So pretty. Next, I'm going to take this Royal and Langnickel brush. Um, it's actually a mini smudger brush, BC435, but I like to use it for my nose highlight just because it's just so tiny. So I feel like I can just get the right amount on there. Last, but certainly not least, we're going to go on lips. I have no idea what type of lip I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do a nude. I just got these two Jeffree Star nudes. Look like these, I think. Mm, I kind of like this one better. I'm going to take the Kylie One Wish lip liner and the Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipstick in the shade Skin Tight. So first I'm going to line my lips. Okay. Lips are lined. Now I'm going in with the liquid lipstick. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. All of the products that I used in the video are all in the description box if you guys wanted to look at it, purchase it, whatever you want to do with it. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks to my brother for filming for me once again. <laughs> and hopefully I'll get you guys back another video not two years from now. Hopefully sometime soon. I don't know. I'm not going to set a schedule because I probably won't stick to it. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Bye!